Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 5. Last time, Pastel, uh, was sick, so we came over here to the Baskar Shrine looking for some medicine. It was Carol's idea, and, you know, Carol's just the brain trust of the group, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know who they're talking about. I don't think that it's Nightburn. Yeah, he doesn't carry two guns, and he's kind of a dick, so... I don't know who it could possibly be. Oh, well, that is true. Eh, that's true, too. Dean isn't a hero. He's just some guy who runs around with his pants undone. Um, shut up, Carol. Can't stand you. Oh my god, Rebecca, you're retarded. Like, seriously. <laughs> I don't think anybody has a thing for Carol. Nobody. So go ahead and type in Dean's name. Oh, hey, look at that. The password's actually correct. Who knew? Yeah. Well, I guess so. Yeah, maybe it's just malfunctioning. It's been around for 12,000 years, so... Oh, yeah, maybe there was some ancient hero named Dean. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, let's head on inside. Who are we to question fate? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, lots of enemies. Let's see what we got going on here. The uh, gargoyles weak to water, fairy lights weak to earth, and they are fatal to wind. So lots of different stuff going on here. But for right now, let's see. There's two guys in that hex, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and fight y'all. There we go. The fairy lights, um, you can really take them out quite nicely with uh, some earth magic. And, uh, where is Greg? Oh, Greg is pretty close to an Earth Hex, but that fairy light's on top of it, so it's just lovely. Was something weak to- I think something was weak to water. Oh, that gargoyle is weak to water. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and put you over here, and start blasting, uh, you guys. Oh, awesome! I will take them both out. Bam! Yeah, go ahead and go. Um, I also equipped that cat's paw that we got last time on Dean. And that increases the strength of his attack command by 50%. Now, you might want to put it on your luck medium user, considering that Dean also has the uh, crush ability. And your luck medium user does not have any kind of alternate attack. So, um, you know, where, whereas Rebecca would always pretty much be attacking... Um, Dean has some other things that he could do, although your luck medium user will be stealing and slowing down and fragiling and things like that, so I guess they have other things to do. Well, hopefully. That's why we're here after all. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, were you friends with the Baskars, Carol? Oh. Huh. Well, we saw how it changed over the ages. I mean, we played Wild Arms... Well, I played <laughs> the entire Wild Arms series. Um, I don't know about y'all, but you've probably at least seen Wild Arms 4 and Wild Arms XF. Yeah, what is the matter? What's going on? Could it be that your hairband is upside down? That really bugs the crap out of me, I've got to say. Yeah, you do seem rather smart. Oh, well, what was the impression that you had? Oh, a clumsy little girl. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to run off and prove them all correct by slipping and falling on my ass. Way to go, Carol. I... Hate. You. Ugh. I wouldn't call it cute. I would call it damned annoying. Is Rebecca really threatened by a six-year-old girl? Like, seriously? Ugh. Yeah, hopefully. Huh, I wonder why they're so interested in humans. Oh, they think that the humans have something to do with the planet's decay? Oh, really? 
Well, that must have been in Wild Arms 3. Yeah, way on back when. Oh, the Age of Lost Technology. Oh. What civilization could that have been? Oh, well, yeah. You know, everything was built 12,000 years ago. Nothing could have possibly been built, you know, within the last 50 or 100 years. Even Le LaBelle. It seems that Le LaBelle has plenty of technology. But was that built 12,000 years ago, too? Oh, okay. So this is like an environmentalism tale. Oh. Okay. Mmm. Gotcha. Well, that's good, at least. Yeah, so the planet's weak, so Pastel got sick. I don't really know what the planets being weak and Pastel getting sick has to do with one another. I mean, if the planet was weaker, like a lot weaker at one point beforehand, why would um, only Pastel just now be getting sick? So apparently this disease used to be only affecting the Veroni, but lately it's humans who have been uh, afflicted by it. So the Baskars are trying to figure out why this disease kind of jumped from one species to another. Yeah, that is a good question. That's true, too. We've already covered this. Huh. Could it be the life stream? What kind of change in the relationship could there possibly be? Maybe it's under that TF system that Nightburn was talking about. He said that it was at 10% power, and he wanted to take out all the humans, so... Huh. Seems like prime suspect number one to me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That pretty much is our bottom line. Get some medicine and keep on moving. Save the world! One little girl at a time! Okay, so we can't go through this door quite yet, so let's go down here, see what we can't find. Uh, let's see, let's put on our guns. Oh, oh, hey, hey. We get 5,000 gala. And over here, we get the fire bullet. Awesome! That's just another bullet cartridge. Bam! Yeah, look at that. And what you can do is you can hold down the uh, square button, and it will power up your uh, fire charge. Kind of like in Mega Man. Wasn't it? What was it? Mega Man 4, I think? I can't remember which... No, that was the Pharaoh Bolt or the Pharaoh Shot or something, where you could kind of like charge it up and like the big uh, ball would come over Mega Man's head. But it was kind of like a fiery thing. But anyway, over here we just got a, another block pushing puzzle. We just got to pull it over here, pull it over here, and push it on top of that switch. It's easy enough to do. There we go. And move on our way. Yeah, this place is pretty straightforward. I do want to make sure that I have my uh, standard bullets ready to shoot all these pots, because you get 273 Gela by doing so. Oh no! I did it wrong, damn it. Okay, so get on out of here. <laughs> and then go back inside. Okay, so you want to freeze the bottom one, and then blow up the top one, and then that melts the bottom one, so now we can, let's see, we want to push it on top of this switch over here. There we go. Easy enough, even though I messed up, but sure. Well, what do we have here? Sure. Ooh, shooting star. Let's go ahead and equip that onto uh, Rebecca. Well, it lowers her hit by a little bit, but it raises her other attack stat, so I totally want to equip that. And move right along. Ooh, save point. Go ahead and do that, and let's look at the hint that we have going on. Um, I guess. Uh, that's true. You really shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we can't do anything quite yet over that way, so let's head on over here. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. 
Yikes! Boss time! Against actually a relatively difficult boss, I must say. Okay, so first things first, let's see what we got going on. We're all over here in this hex. We want to eventually be in that hex to get uh, our treasure. But let's look, he is weak to wind, and he's weak to fire. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. I'm going to bring her over here. And uh, for right now, I don't want to steal anything from those guys. But I do want to just, you know, get an extra shot against the big boss. Hey, hey critical hit. Awesome. Now, these guys, um, they don't really damage you that much, but they can inflict... Yeah, they inflict the disease status, and that's basically, like, your max HP becomes your current HP. It's, it's, it's essentially, you can't heal if you're on those hexes. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and blast you. You are weak to fire. Awesome. And for right now... Yeah, I'll attack you as well. Because these guys can be pretty dangerous. You want to take them out as fast as humanly possible. This scythe move normally deals a pretty good amount of damage. I was actually pretty lucky there. Go ahead and steal from him. We'll get the brushing bomb. Nice! And keep on diseasing. Lovely. Ugh, all three of these hexes are, uh, afflicted with disease now. That really sucks. Okay, so I could kill you. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, go ahead and get rid of you. Awesome. And let's put you over here for right now. And let's see, if I crush you, what about a heavy crush? How much would that do? No, not that much more. If I use a critical hit, eh. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and start attacking this guy, get rid of him. Then we'll take care of the Gigamantis. Oh, sweet! They both got in the same hex. Ooh, that's so good. That's so nice. Uh, let's see what I can't do. Uh, you know what? It would be nice. Do I have a medicine? I do have a medicine. Um, I don't think it's going to be really be worth it, but I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, there we go. Ugh, oh, you moved, you bastard. Don't know about this. Oh, good! Okay, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's try a high blast. See if you just can't kill him. That would really be lovely. Sweet! And now I'm going to have you use Sonic Vision. So now we get um, a guaranteed critical hit against him with double critical and the cat's paw. It's so nice. Uh, let's see. Let's use a Potion Berry on y'all. Get your HP back up. There we go. Uh-oh. Yikes. Oh, you can heal yourself? Oh, you bitch. Okay, uh, let's see. You have a Sonic Vision as well, but I don't want to deal with that right now. Let's go ahead and Fragile him. Lower his defense a bit. Awesome. And let's move him off that Hex. And for right now, let's use a High Vortex Gem on him. Because he is weak to wind, but I don't have a wind lay point. Okay, next, I'm going to use Jump to put us all over in this Hex. There we go. So now I am on the right Hex that I want to be at, so that I can um, make sure that I get the, uh, the treasure at the end of this battle. He's still in a Fragile Hex. And, let's see, I'm going to keep on using another High Vortex on him. And hopefully I can kill him next turn with a Sonic Vision. Let's see. Uh, let's do Sonic Vision. Get a critical hit on him. And that should take out this guy pretty nicely. Whoa, look at that damage! Ooh, it's so good. Extra thousand damage with the Fragile on him. Uh, hey! Yeah, this could be a really difficult battle if you don't uh, plan it out properly. Ooh, good rewards, too. Yeah, I could have brought Carol to heal, but no, I hate Carol. Um, you didn't even help, Avril. Why are you out of breath? What 
that's what you said about the Temple of Rejection. What is it with you and shrines? Huh. That's weird. I hope so. Okay. Oh, well, that's brave of you. Very nice. Okay. Are you about to be a selfish bitch again, Rebecca? Oh, you're just going to talk to the other girl that you have a rivalry with already. You've known her for five minutes and you have a rivalry with her, even though she's like five. Oh, you and your professor. I don't like you and I really don't like your professor either, I've got to say. Yeah, you could just run away straight out of my life forever. Yeah, we met him once before. Yeah. Again? Was he kleptomaniac? Oh. Yeah, he really shouldn't. He should take your advice. Well, it seems so. How could a man like that father a really annoying girl like this? Oh, well, where is your father? Of course you were. Because, you know, a JRPG hero couldn't possibly have her own parents! Man, there really seems to be, like, an orphan problem on this continent. You ran away from them. You were so shy that you couldn't even, like, talk to us the first time that you met us, yet you ran away from your own mother and father. Man, if she was my daughter, I'd mistreat her too. She's so frickin' annoying. Oh. Well, that's pretty awful. Were you borrowing the land, or were you squatting on the land? Were you sharecroppers? Oh, it sounds to me like it was sharecropping. Yeah, because it says that there was nothing left for us, so they probably had to give a portion of their crops to the Veroni, and there wasn't enough left for the family, so they were trapped in, like, a cycle of poverty. Well, that was pretty crappy of her parents, though, I've got to say. Well, I guess they just discarded the weakest link. Well, maybe in the end you kind of helped your parents out. You got rid of uh, yourself because you're freaking annoying, and there's one less mouth to feed. So, yeah, don't feel too hard on yourself, Carol. Now you're just tagging along with us, we got to deal with you. Oh, so that's why you are really shy. Uh How... How did we remind you of the professor? Seriously, Rebecca? The 16-year-old girl who is like a skinny twig, she's like 90 pounds, reminds you of the professor who's like 200-something pounds and huge? The only one that I could possibly see maybe reminding you of the professor is Greg, but Greg isn't, you know, annoying and full of himself and flexing or anything. He's just, you know, tall, dark, handsome, mysterious, wonderful, dreamy. <laughs> oh, Avril. Yeah, how did Avril remind you of the professor? Oh, I guess. Then... Oh, okay. And we'll continue our search through the Baskar Shrine next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 5. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.